Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. Today I'll be reviewing, unboxing, and demoing the Pro X Humpter B3 DJ Workstation. So this is not a video I anticipated on making because I was skeptical that it was worth the cost. So this DJ booth is not the cheapest DJ booth on the market. In fact, it is 10 times more expensive than your average DJ facade. And I was very skeptical of this design at first because I did not think it was worth the cost, but as time went on I have changed my mind and I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons and ultimately why I ended up with this piece of gear in my garage so without further ado let's make sure the microphone is on testing and there's several videos and demos of this DJ booth but I haven't seen any unboxings and I feel like seeing an unboxing sometimes is very useful let's go ahead and unbox this thing as you can see here it comes in this box you know i'm six four so this thing is massive it is pretty heavy it's 75 pounds fully loaded and it came to me via freight and it came on this big crate and one of the reasons i decided to get this booth was for its portability so <laughs> a little bit of an irony so let's go ahead and unbox this thing So you get the cases which come in this nice vacuum sealed bag. Here's the top. Here's this facade table covering. It probably displays the name Humter. Okay, so this is like the main table. It's like fully assembled already. Here's our laptop stand in various hardware. All right, here's the main table. Oh, so this keeps it there. Here's a little baggie for the laptop stand. Here is a bottom shelf for the table, which I'll show in a moment. Here is the instruction manual. So here's the laptop stand. And this is a TV mounting stand, so it comes with that. All right, so this is the biggest part of the DJ booth. This is like basically the whole booth. Just another look at this backside. So it's a little bit bulky. It's not too heavy. It's a little bit awkwardly shaped. Hoping this fits in the back of my car. Oof. So this clip right here is what keeps this together during transport. So I'm ready to set it up. I simply remove this, set it down where I want it, fold out these sides. First impression is Holy crap, this thing is like extremely stable. This thing does not wobble. It does not do the wobble. Next, we put like this mini facade looking thing and it has like these really nice grooves. So it just slides right in. So yeah, it has like all of these thumb screws. So this is like a toolless installation. So that just slides there. That just slides there. Then I can tighten this. And I also want to point out that it wasn't clear whether this would come with a TV stand or this front panel. Cause it looks like in the past that you had to pay extra for those. And also in the past, I think you had to pay extra for like this headphone hook and this cup holder, but it looks like it's included now. So yeah, I'm really excited for these. These are going to be some awesome additions. And this is where the shelf is going to rest, which I'll do in a moment, but let's go ahead and put the top. The top kind of just hangs on these little screws. There's some on this side as well. This is a little bit heavy. It's a little bit bulky. These holes make great handles, and these are where you can put your cables. It slides on just like that. And this shelf just goes down below. So the laptop stand comes apart in three different sections. It's pretty intuitive. It's height adjustable, and it comes with these thumb screws to secure your desired height. I don't see myself wanting to take this thing apart after every gig. But it's nice you don't need any tools. Just use these thumb screws. And then same with this part of the laptop stand, it's adjustable. You can choose like how far out you want it. Again, pretty tall, so I'll probably want this to come closer to me. This side just needs one thumb screw. And there's these screws on each side, so you can put the laptop mount on there. And if you have the laptop stand on either side, 
You can even purchase a second laptop stand separately and have one on each side. So one of the main reasons I was hesitant to have this table is because you have to take this apart after every gig and you can't keep anything pre-wired inside. So to mitigate that, I have something called a guitar pedal board. This guitar pedal board comes in this case and I can have pretty much everything pre-wired from like a wireless microphone to a two channel mixer, as well as a docking station. I can set it down below on the shelf. Then I have everything pre-wired in here. I can just stick it through this hole. And then here we go. Here's all the cables I need. Here's like cables for my laptop. In retrospect, I'll probably have them come out of here to be closer to the laptop. As well as like DMX and sound and everything I need to connect to up here. Yeah, I know, white table, white cords. It'll help it blend in a little bit better. Right, and so I have my cable right here. This will just kind of help with the plug and play pre-wiring because this stuff setting it all up sucks and a lot of this equipment just doesn't make sense to put in a rack mount. But this pedal board just lets me have it all spread out like this. So it's out of sight, out of mind, and it's pretty easy to set up. And that's how that looks like. And people will be able to see my hands. So it's no secret that people don't like that the Humpter logo is on their booth. I was thinking about covering it with like this white vinyl, but I'm noticing that this is vinyl itself. So it just peels off pretty easily, just like that. Goodbye, Humpter. So it comes with three bags, but two bags for the booth, one for the laptop stand. Let's start with the big one. Nice, it has a handle right here. All right, so there's a handle on each side, a handle on this side as well, and the strap so you can strap it over your shoulder. It's not too heavy, it's a little heavy. Ah, there's a divider. So you can't take the whole thing in one trip just like this. This is really heavy on my shoulder though. Oof. Well, let's see if this fits in my car. I think I did enough calculations. Because <laughs> the whole point of wanting to get this is I don't want to have to use my trailer because a lot of venues around here don't allow trailers. There's no parking. Originally, I thought this booth was overpriced because other booths within this price point let you achieve that sunken look where all your equipment can just be pre-wired, making it so much easier to set up, and I thought it looked a lot sleeker. But with a DJ booth, I want people to be able to see my hands so that they know that like DJs do more than just push play on a Spotify playlist. This little facade cover here is tall enough that it hides the cables from my equipment but not so tall that people can't see my hands. And I was really blown away with how stable this thing is. Like I can wobble it, but it does not wobble. And that is incredible. And I don't know many pieces of DJ furniture that can do that. So if you're trying to scratch or you're trying to do anything, like this thing's not gonna be wobbling around. And ultimately I like that it's just a table because I can put any DJ controller I want. If I have a high end gig, I can send one of my guys and they can use their own custom setup. I don't have to have like a custom top plate for just their configuration. One day I want to have a band and I need a bigger mixer. I can totally add that in without too much effort. And while it does provide a lot of the same functionality as like a $250 facade table, I think it looks a lot cleaner. I mean, it's made of metal. It has like this minimalist sleek look. There's like no spandex. This thing is just all made of metal. It looks like a piece of furniture. And this thing is so portable. Like I don't need a trailer to transport this. I'll be able to fit this in the back of my SUV. So ultimately, yeah, I am gonna be using this this year. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.